We are taught our whole lives what it means to be human to fit into the collective ideal set forward by the society in which we preside. We are taught how to create, how to achieve preset goals that others see fit. We are taught by the whims of that same society how to act around others and to ignore personal agitations and emotions. By power of those above us, we are taught that ambitions are an evil entity, one that consumes and only leads to the destruction of your fellow man. It is not your own will that drives you to create or destroy, but the whims of the greater good, the collective body. Your hopes and your ambitions are minor in comparison to those which are considered beneficial to others. At the extent of sacrificing your own soul, you are taught what is good, and how to achieve this good with set instructions designed by powers above our own comprehension. What about your own ambitions? What about your own morals? What about your own will and your will to create for yourself a society and reality in which to live? There is no such thing as the collective. The collective is nothing but a gathering of like-minded individuals bent on dictating the whims of those who live for themselves. Your inspiration, your thoughts, your ambitions, and your soul cannot be dictated. You are you. You are the creator. Those who dictate wills and dictate the means in which your fellow man must exist are the parasites. The creator builds, the parasite destroys. The creator thinks, the parasite copies. The creator chooses, the parasite obeys. The creator does not recognize the good of others as a means for their own existence. The creator is bound to no one or nothing other than his own ambitions and his own visions. He lives for no man or serves for no one. He lives for himself and creates not for others but himself. He does not think for others or live for the benefit of parasites. The creator is the individual. The creator is you.